Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in Revit Architecture 2024 for beginners. I am architect Sonurai from Glad Studio and in this today video tutorial, I am going to teach you how to do some project settings before starting of a project. So if you are a beginner in Revit, uh, you need to do some settings before you can start drawing your floor plan. So that can be your unit setup and how to view your viewports. So I will teach you the basic settings like project unit setup and viewing of your viewports, how to view so that you can save your time. So you can uh, open your Revit 2024 and you can see uh, this uh, window here and already I have made tutorial on user interface. You can uh, uh, refer my previous tutorial. So you can go to models and you can select this create a new Revit model file and if you click this you can go to your architecture and you can click OK. So now you are in your viewport. This is the symbol of elevation markers and this is uh, an imperial uh, template file. If you click on metric uh, template file this will be uh, different the elevation markers. So you can refer my previous tutorial. So before starting any uh, like a drawing a floor plan like wall here, you want to draw your floor uh, wall, you need to do some settings. So I am going to teach you how to do your uh, unit setup. So you can go to your uh, manage tab here and you can go to project units. So you can use this project units and shortcut command is un you can also type un and you can select from this ribbon panel project units so if i'm going to type un on my command panel so you can see this is the project units and you can select your discipline what discipline you are using this unit for so this is for all common like architectural mechanical electrical plumbing and other engineering departments so you can click this arrow here you can select if you are electrical engineer you can select electrical if you are energy conservant engineer you can select this energy hvac and infrastructure and structural so we are into architecture so we will select this common and now you can change your the length of this this is in feet and inches so if you want metric you can select from this one metric so you can use your format and units is feet and fractional inches so you can select a meter from this and you can also select this rounding how many decimal place after a decimal you want so you can select these two decimal places and you can also select unit symbol like meter for if you want to in meter you can select this meter and now you can also use this suppress trailing zeros so you can check this box so it will suppress the zeros and a units is in meter so you can click ok and now you can see here this length is also showing in meter so i'm going to click ok and now i'm going to select a wall here and you can see this unit will be uh, reflecting in meter here you can see this is all are in now meter and this will be in meter so you can do this but if you look at this uh, wall category here even our wall these all are in feet and these units in meter so no problem you can also change your template file to meter so you are required to first cancel this and you can if you want to metric template file you can just cross this and you can go to new and you can select architecture template and from browse you can go to your template category and you can select select this english metric and you can select this default metric dot rt and you can click ok and now you are in your metric template file so if you go to select your wall you can see these all are in mm and meter so if you select again unit when this will be in meter you can also change this to fit from here also so if you want your uh, all the units in fit so you can select fit from this one and you can select this how many decimal places 
you want after decimal so i'm going to select two decimals places and now i'm leaving this suppress trailing zeros so i will uncheck this and you can also select unit uh, symbol i'm going to select fit and i'm going to click ok and then click ok and now i'm going to select my wall here and you can see these all are showing fit but since i have uh, not selected suppress zeros uh, so it is showing uh, three zeros after decimal so if you want to change this you can go to unit setup and you can go to your length here click this and you can select this suppress zero trailing zeros and click ok and now if you will draw it this will uh, not show any decimal here and you can see this all are showing single digit so likewise you can use this unit setup and i am going to click if you want to change your area also you can select your area and you can change to any unit like acres hectares in a square feet so these all are some important you can also decide your distance also in which unit feet meter inches and the most important is the length if you want to change the length you can uh, do this and you can also change the mass density speed also you can change and you can also change the volume in which volume you want if you want in cubic meter you can cubic feet you can go to cubic inches and cubic watts and so on and likewise you can do this unit setting so this is the basic unit setting so suppose i am going to this 3d view here and you can see these two uh, viewports is open and if you want to go to another view you can see there is three uh, viewports open so you are required to click on to one by one to each view you can go from here and suppose you have many pages open so it will become very difficult suppose i am i am opening this elevation view so you can see one two three four view here and you can also select waste elevations and can also uh, select uh, this south elevation so you can see one two three four five six so you are uh, required to click one by one to go to each view and view the uh, design work so it will sometimes become difficult so you can go to your view tab and you can select this uh, tile views and you can select this tile views and so you can view all your uh, viewports from here also because in Revit we work simultaneously or on your plan elevation sections and 3d so it will be easier for you so whatever changes if you will apply in your plan, plan view this will reflect in your uh, this uh, 3d's and sections and elevations so suppose if I am drawing any wall here, this is just for your information and I am going to select wall here. I am going to this uh, viewport and now I am going to select wall and if I am make, making any changes here, you can see uh, it is getting reflected in 3ds and my elevation view also. So likewise, uh, it is sometimes necessary to view all viewport so you can go to your this uh, view tab here and you can select tile views if you select uh, again this uh, tile views you can switch your windows and from here also you can go to project 1 project 2 and project 3 and you can also cross this and you can decide how many views you want and you can decide so you can also cross this and you can go to your single views and also you can use this tile views so this is the tutorial and basic settings before starting of a project so please like share and subscribe my channel bye bye